Yeah, hi, this is Tony. So, you know, the video you're about to see is composed of a bunch of clips that I almost didn't record, okay? You know, I just kind of started recording. I didn't really have any any uh, goal in mind when I started, okay? But I was out there, and I was just in, in one of the worst dust storms i ever seen in West Texas. And, you know, I ended up, you know, taking a windshield out of my freaking truck, okay? And I still drive around with it because I just couldn't cost me goddamn there's six hundred dollars to get it fixed and it's at the cheap place not at the goddamn dealership where they shake they hold you upside down and shake you and rob you okay anyway so i was in west texas and and uh you know uh like i said i was just gonna take it easy and go climb up uh, some rocks and look at some stuff uh, you know in the middle of the dust storm out there but then i just started seeing a lot of good stuff and it got you know it was pretty nice i'm not gonna lie it was basically pretty nice so i said okay what this shit i'll just start you know recording and see where it goes so that's what this is it's kind of sloppy not you know a lot of direction but most of my video is done anyway so anyway uh okay let's take a look and see what this is yeah it brings me back to wildfire summer 2020 except it's not smoke it doesn't smell like a burning comic book store that's nice God, it's fucking windy Jesus Christ oh, but you got the sledge and the Myriopterus and nothing's, well, nothing's gonna be burning god damn it still who doesn't love crawling around on limestone huh <laughs> look at look at this limestone. Got to be wearing gloves. Need some leather railroad gloves to be climbing this shit. It's got good grip though. It's just uh, you know cut cut the shit out of your hands. This Berber is. Woo! Got to get up there. Yeah, so, somebody upset the gads. Got a got quite a fall if I eat shit here. I was, I was going to try and shimmy up this thing, but I can't get past that Desilirion. It's got the little spines on the margins of those leaves that feel like, uh, they feel like cat claws. Look at this cool uh, mint, though. Is it just a Hedioma? Looks interesting. Not in bloom, but it's got buds. God, I'm in a legit dust storm. Fuck. I gotta get the fuck down. Look, that, that is how you make a mean Berberus. Jesus Christ, it feels like razor wire. It's so stiff. Ooh, so rigid. Nice color to it, though. As long as you don't have to walk through it. Nice, made it up. What happened to you, guy? Look, he's mummified, man. Just completely dried out. Like he's a museum collection. And the wind is so bad, I can't even smell him right now. There goes the border patrol. Guess that explains why I found all these, uh, I found like some clothes up top. I found some Ensure, some high calorie liquid food. Migrant trail, some water bottles too. Anyway, look at this limestone. Look, this they're both limestone upon closer inspection, you can see. Uh, but you know, they got this different coloration. Why is it? I mean, obviously I'm, I'm assuming uh, more iron oxide here. You know, what processes have happened? I didn't check the age on this. I assume it's Cretaceous. What processes have happened over the last 90 million years to cause the, the difference in color? Different minerals present in the calcium carbonate? Secondary alteration? What happened, huh? Tell me your secrets, you prick. Just kidding, I love it. You know, it sounds like the wind ruffling through trees. That's what the uh, general uh, audible ambience is uh, of the uh, area right now, but there's no trees. The wind is just blowing that hard. Kind of in the wind shadow right now, but up, fuck man, up on top of that thing. God damn, it was 60 miles per hour, easy. This little echino series. Just about to bloom. Look at, I got those buds on there. This fucking dust storm is insane, man. Crazy. Look at that. It's so dusty you could stare at the sun. 
Remember that time uh, everyone said there was an eclipse going on and everyone was saying don't stare at the sun and then Trump stared at the sun? That picture sums up everything. Holy shit. God, I can't believe I'm fuck. <laughs> fucking choking. You know, my guess is going to be that the pack rats didn't place those rocks there. They didn't pile those rocks there. More likely it's an old uh, indigenous uh, granary. Or maybe just a lean-to shelter? I don't know. But it looks like the pack rats have taken it over now. But who knows who was sleeping in it 600, 700 years ago, huh? Such a nice agave. Look at those teeth. Agave perii neo-mexicana. Brown tip spines. Fucking it. You could die. You could die on this plant. Ah, oh, the texture of that stem, though. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look at the soil. It went from uh, limestone to this kind of igneous. Oh, look at this guy. Talk about crypsis. More crypsis. Just been a just been a cryptic cacti week. Look at that. Glandula cactus uncinatus. And uh, judging by the uh, grass next to it, you could see what it's trying to do. You could see what it's trying to do. Trying to look like, uh, use those central spines, those central spines that are recurved at the end to uh, kind of blend them with the grass, with the grassy grass. We are not on limestone anymore, too. Not that. Looks like, uh, looks igneous. Looks like uh, granitic. Could, it, could be sandstone, maybe, too? No, 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 looks granitic. Definitely see a grain size in there. Maybe it could be sandstone. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really looked. Certainly does seem uh, granitic though. Nice, uh, nice uh, dust storm blew in. Look at the luck, the uh, yuck effect, Soniana, over there in a, in a distance. Massive bastards. Look how, look how wide those are. Jesus Christ. Get your Dasilirian. and a whole bunch of crispy shit, crispy shrubs. A kind of serious Desi acanthus. Looking like a dang. Looks like he got fried. Got a little, uh, is that Escobaria right there? Is that what that is? And this guy is about the, looks like he's about to bloom. He looks pretty shriveled. Look at how accordioned those ribs are. All shriveled up. Not plump, but he's still, looks like he was getting ready to flower too, but they, the buds dried up. Oh shit. I think that's, I think that's what happened. I should probably, I'll pour some water on this poor bastard. The truck's nearby. Might as well, you know. God, that's that's incredible. Look at <laughs> It's amazing what selective pressure does, huh? Remember, it's not intentional. A lot of people, uh, you know, we, as humans, we try to anthropomorphize evolution. That's not how it works. Just mutations, genetic recombination, lots of genetic recombination and selective pressures the same way that uh, the same way that uh, you know humans can uh, take a plant and produce kohlrabi broccoli cauliflower and kale from the same species just by selective breeding nature does its own form of selective breeding look at that incredible i'm gonna, I'm gonna water this poor bastard because the fact those flower buds dried up makes me think uh he might be on his way out look how Intensely uh, wrinkled and shriveled those ribs are. Oh, the wind's really picking up now. You can almost see the sun. <laughs> Got a mouthful of dust. Look, there's the sun. You could stare directly at the sun without burning your eyes out. How about that? Such a beautiful agave. Agave perii neo mexicana. Look at the teeth on that bastard. We got a brown spines. Could be impaled on those. Look at the, the teeth on the margins. Ivory white. And apparently it pops. Not all not all agaves pop. Not all uh, agaves produce offsets. But you didn't see this one on the limestone. A hill over that way was all limestone. This is all igneous. 
You didn't see that guy in the limestone. You just saw Lecce Gia. Mean bastard. Always got to pay attention to the racks. Always got to pay attention to what racks you're on. Old friend of Kino Cactus, uh, horizontal lonies. But you know what? This guy normally likes limestone. It's odd to see him growing on this. That's the acanthus. Look at the fruits. Look at the fruits of this guy. Like a cat and swab. A cat and swab. Can't even get those fruits up. What disperses them? Birds? Look at that. I think this is nice. You should see a kind of cactus uh, polycephalus in a Mojave. Very, uh, very cottony uh, fruits. Same genus, different species. Polycephalus, because it forms multiple heads. Much bigger cactus, too. You see these colonies of them that are six feet across in some cases. Massive dust storm. Glad I'm not in the freeway right now, Jesus. Probably, probably trucks blowing all over the place, you know? Piss bottles flying everywhere. Piss bottles. If this was 20 years ago, there'd be, I remember I got a ride with a trucker once when I was hitchhiking, I was like early 20s. This man weighed about 400 pounds and had the largest collection of pornography I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's an Olina, look at that. You got an Olina right there. Largest analog porn. I mean, you know, I think he had like three buckets filled with the porno magazines. It was really, it was really sad to see. Not that I'm against porn, but I'm just saying that much. And then a the guy was just really nice guy, but he was a really nice man. He gave us a ride, you know, but he was not in good shape. I wonder if he's still alive. Anyway, look at a snow Lena. Not mean in terms of a monocot, in terms of a desert monocot. Look at the, uh, look at those stems. There those, excuse me, those shoots, those leaves. God, Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place. I haven't eaten in six hours and just had too much coffee. Look at the texture of those. See those ridges? Those little white ridges. Probably uh, probably some heavy cuticle there. Looks like you got just the tiniest teeth on the margin of that leaf. But it doesn't hurt to brush up against. Okay? Not like this bastard, that uh, Bacillerion. Bacillerion leophylum. And of course, those are the flowers. He just flowers... Flowers right there. Flowers right from the uh, from the base of the plant. Jack, you don't gotta follow me. You could just wait over there. You don't need to. He's old. You don't. You don't need to do that. Okay. Well, he wants to come. Anyway, Nolina. Nolina is a nice genus. You get the Nolina palmeri in the Nopa Mountains in the Mojave Desert. Those are coalescent. They almost look like one of those yuccas over there. They get very big. I've seen those, those uh, Nolina Palmerize get upwards of six, seven feet tall. Look at those massive yuccas. Massive yucca faxoniana. They can get taller than that, too. I've seen them in cultivation. I've seen them almost 30 feet tall. And, of course, very ubiquitous common plant. We're still going to give it some attention, though. Berberus trifoliata. A trifoliata, you know, creative... Not, not a very creative name, I guess, in terms of a species name. But it's better than naming it after a person, at least in my opinion. I hate it when they name plants after people. That was stupid. A friend of mine just discovered a couple new, uh, what they think are a couple new monkey flowers in, uh, in the California desert. And, you know, the, some guy wanted to name after him. He said, no, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want it. He's a, he's a good man. Anyway, look how, pay attention to the structure of this leaf. Leaves that have been modified into spines. I mean, this thing is so, this is not a, this is not a, a soft structure right here. Glaucus, blue, lots of, uh, you know, heavy cuticle right there. But, uh, you know, this, those ends are just spinosis hell. I mean, it, it hurts, to, you know, to, to walk by, if you gotta walk by one of these things, you're gonna get cut up. No way, and certainly nothing's gonna be gnawing on the leaves. Look at that, look at that leaf. Look at that leaf structure. Just such a fucking mean plant. Pretty in flower though, tiny yellow flowers. Maybe not tiny, maybe about, I don't know, less than 10 millimeters for sure, less than one of those. 
one of those intervals. <clears throat> anyway, there you go, Berber's trifoliata. Common as hell, Chihuahua desert plant. Oh yeah, there's that wind. God damn. Oh, it, was, it, it calmed down for a second, but then it just picked back up. Look at this massive goddamn yucca. Yucca Faxoniana. You get some roots, you get some nice root action right down there. Almost looks like a tree trunk right there. Look at that woody tissue. Jesus Christ. Fibers, you got the fibers, the little white hairs on those leaf blades. And this is a, this isn't even that big. Like I said, they get a lot bigger than this. It's a big old bastard. Look, this guy's about 15 feet tall. Ooh. This thing, little cat claw, little cat claw uh, marginal spines that'll just rip you up. Anyway, we'll end it here. That's enough. I didn't even mean to make a video today. I just came out here to look at some stuff and it, it looked pretty good. So that across is about, I don't know, I'd say four feet, three and a half. Not bad for a yucca, pretty big. Be nice to see them when they're blooming. I don't know how you, I don't know how you, how would, how'd you get a, up close to the flowers? Maybe if, uh, well look there, see there's an old inflorescence right there. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you got some out of it. It's nice to do short videos. Keep it short. You know, short for me is still like 10 minutes long. You know, just because I end up talking too much, rambling, going disjointed rants. Anyway, we'll end it. We'll end it there. Yuck effects on on everybody. On the igneous scree. Hope you enjoyed that. That's all I got for you tonight. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Look at that, the dust is so thick. <laughs> the dust is so thick still. You could stare at the sun during the daytime. I don't think I've ever been through a dust storm like this before. I've seen them from far away, but I've never been in one. And it's been like this for about three hours now.